This what it need to be. Isn't his name Daniel Bryan? <laughs> right here. Woo! Wrestlers, if you hear me, use your common sense. Yes. You know the vibes. The fourth man over here. Hey, hey, Chico, they auto, they cash for it. They'll take one more grande verga de total. Charlotte, that player. <laughs> it's going to be the greatest episode of all time. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, man. Hold on, gotta hit the drop. Holla, holla. Yeah, we here. Now it's official. Hell yeah. Hey, man. Where do I begin? Where do I start? How we feeling? Feel like right. you know I'm saying <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. To you. The last couple of days it's just been so damn. I've been working outside, as y'all know. And boy, when I tell you I've been doing real man work, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Work to make you come home and crack open a, a Coors Light and smoke a cigarette to decompress. <laughs> you feel me? That's that shit. And it been extra like humid. I don't know if y'all niggas been outside, but it's been humid as fuck. I work outside, so you already know I'm I'm in the elements. Today I was in five minutes of rain, just heavy rain for no reason. You ain't chilling a truck? Nah, I gotta keep it moving, bro. I gotta, you know. You don't do you get like a uh, like a hat or something at least? Um a poncho or some shit? Nah, I got like a little jacket, a little all weather jacket, but I'm pretty sure like paws I still get wet from like the shit just goes right through. Hmm. So but it is what it is. If you have a marketing job, you hit me up. I'll figure that shit out. I got I got a degree. It's it's still here with the stickers. Look, I got a Rick Rubin sticker. <laughs> Yo, as a matter Chris of fact, applesauce. it's funny that you mentioned that because today I feel like there was an ad specifically like on Instagram just specifically for me. And it did I take a screenshot? of? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's this right here. It said we're looking for 28 year old sports lovers who enjoy sharing. Uh, their opinions and want to learn to become sportscasters. I got that same exact ad, but it didn't say 28. It said 27 year olds. Boy, I, I read that shit. I, you know that Juicy meme where he pointed at himself? <laughs> <like me? laughs> Bro, I, I, I swiped up. I was like, I know it's bullshit, but let me entertain it anyway. I swipe up and I look and I'm like, this is how my information ends up in China. Oh yeah, I just yeah, put that sure. shit in, and because I'm sitting there, like the the ad had like somebody drinking a drink courtside, and I'm like, yeah, is Ooh. that me? <laughs> <laughs> Could that be me? Just yeah, word that hand looked familiar. <laughs> but yeah, I looked at that ad too, and I said, "Fuck out of here! I'm not doing that shit." Yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna apply to like complex sports or some shit. Just yeah. See what happens. Yo, I figured think is. Well, I don't know. I don't want to blow up nobody's spot. If if y'all have lied on your resume, blink twice. Chat GPT <laughs> makes my resume. I don't. I don't lie. Chat GPT takes my information and makes it beautiful. So I, I had KP hook up my resume for like a uh, a content job. I was like, boy, I don't even do nothing. In I mean, I do kind of, but I was like, yo, I'm reading this shit. I'm like, you know what? This sound. I would hire me. Should sound good. One of these days, I'm going to create the fakest resume of all time just to see what happens. I graduated Yale, top of my class. It's going to have all this bullshit. Oh, I worked for fucking Coca-Cola. I invented the polar bear drinking the Coca-Cola. It's just going to have some wild lies just to see what happens. I was a former digital producer for whatever Obama. company went out of business word. Barack Obama. I can't give you his number, obviously, for security reasons. <laughs> Yo, you should do that. I'm interested in seeing what would happen. Yeah, because wow. obviously, you know, something's not connecting. I think it's I, I I make it a race thing just to make myself feel better, but I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> you have to. I understand. I can't even make it a race thing because I work with my pops. I just be doing shit like I be doing shit, and I'm like, yo, why am I doing this, son? Like, <laughs> like the, yesterday, I'm over here like with a, a sledgehammer breaking up concrete slab. I'm over here like ding, 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 like five swings in. I'm like, I just stopped. I was like, 
what am I doing? <laughs> it was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> There's more to life. How am I going to get a Ben Tanker swinging a sledgehammer? I don't Bro. know. Damn. Damn. That's, that's, why, real... that's why I have a theory that people that smoke cigarettes on vacation, they have life figured out. Like, even in the greatest moment of paradise, they're just like, you know what? I could afford to take a rip of this fucking Newport. Yeah, I need a fucking dart right now. (laughs) Life is good. Yeah. Swag. That's like when I went to DR for the first time. I thought I had it all figured out. But I was sitting, like, in a, like, the, uh, the... the the rooftop jacuzzi looking into the like the moon and shit <laughs> smoking a cigar like ooh yeah <laughs> life is great Bro, like, that was that was us at like dinner or like after the club every day we were like we could get used to this this could be every day with no plan of making it every day thanks yeah then you get back home you got a clock in fuck <laughs> damn it <laughs> Bro, when I heard that first alarm oh my god I was like I could just end it here. Yeah, nah, shit is but, pain, bro. Yeah. <sighs> I know people out there can feel me. It's okay, y'all. <laughs> just put your hands to the screen. I'll pray. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're listening, just put your hands over your ears and scream as loud as you can. Oh, yeah, no, nah, that's how I start my mornings. <laughs> 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 I wake up and just scream <laughs> at the top of my lungs. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's funny because it's Fuck. it's it's true. You know, there's there's pain behind these jokes. Yeah, no, nah, that's a fact. Behind these jokes is a cry for help. <laughs> it's not behind. It's in front. It's right there. It's in the it's front. right there. Word. Right there. <laughs> we actually help. started by asking for help. Word. Niggas started out by venting. Like, yo, how was y'all week? <laughs> is everybody okay? We haven't said a single thing we've done all week. <laughs> You gotta you gotta laugh to hide that pain, son. That's it. Oh man, yeah, word. Shout out to V's. <sighs> Shit, word. Shouts to V's, man. I seen um Spider Man yesterday. I told y'all a couple weeks ago I was gonna see Spider Man. That was on my like bucket list of movies I wanted to see. She was ill, man. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, she was a Bro, flop movie. It was the most beautiful movie I've seen. Where it was like. I feel like if I could stop the movie on any frame, it would be like an actual, you know, mm-hmm. like piece of art. Yeah, nah, that shit was uh I can't even say beautifully shot. Like it was just beautifully like made. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying like a real work of art. You feel me? The only thing I did not like, I was not a fan of, was Mexican Spider Man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mexican Spider Man, you you was you was kind of a dick, I'm not gonna lie. Was he you know wrong though? No spoilers, but no, I'm spoiling this shit. If y'all didn't see it, man, skip ahead, bro. Yeah, it has been like three weeks. <laughs> y'all have had ample time, man. Yeah, so skip to like, if we're at 8.30 right now, skip to like 9.15. I think we can get this done in 45 seconds. All right, go, Eve. Mexican Spider-Man, you were an asshole. Uh, you was over here talking about, oh, I, I do this shit for all of us. You feel me? I got to bury the load and carry the bird. Nigga, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Fuck you, nigga. You feel me? We all Spider-Man in this universe. I had to see my, my pops get murked. You feel me? You upset because you don't got a family no more. Who gives a fuck? Niggas are mad because he don't got his daughter. And like, Nigga, shut up, bro. You sound like a bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get back and save my pops. You trying to stop me from saving my pops. Talking about it got to happen. Why? Because yeah. it happened to you? Exactly. He was like, oh, nah. Yo, he's like, yo, but my uncle died too. And he was like, nah, I don't count. Your dad needs to die. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, to, yo I, y'all niggas lucky I ain't Spider Man, bro. Yo, niggas, first, like, oh, my first uncle of all, died too. He's supposed to die. I'm like, nigga, fuck you and your uncle, nigga. <laughs> Damn. All of the Uncle Ben's die, and they're like, oh, that's fine. But the, the first black Spider Man, his uncle needs to die and his dad. They're like, nah, he, they both got to go. Facts. Got to grow up with a single mother in Harlem or <laughs> Queens or wherever the fuck they were. Brooklyn. Saying tomato, tomato. Yeah, I can't even picture a fucking Harlem. Please do not make Harlem Spider Man. Blue, whatever y'all do, we do not need Harlem <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> nah. We do not need that shit, man. It's gonna be Tiana Taylor. That's <laughs> be the Harlem I thought you was gonna say it's gonna be Vado. <laughs> <laughs> Vado, <is> crazy. Nah. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> random like Vado. Jewels. ASAP <laughs> Rocky. Hey, ASAP Rocky would be the shittiest Spider Man ever. Be the first fuckboy Spider Man. <laughs> the nigga don't even save you. Like, the nigga just wearing big ass clothes and shit. 
and making whack raps. I'm like, yo, help, Spider Man. <laughs> this nigga just pushed me onto the chain tracks. Help. This nigga He's trying here. to bag Rihanna. Yo, look what I could do. The word. Nigga talking about fucking walk, walkisha and shit. My nigga. <laughs> nigga, you help me, you. Oh my nigga over God. here talking about jiggy nigga. Nigga. <laughs> leave, leave me on these train tracks. Nigga. I'm good. I'll do you one bit. Let me touch the third rim. <laughs> <Ha>. <laughs> yeah, nah, we don't we don't need a Harlem Spider-Man. I wish they showed us Dominican Spider-Man. I wish they showed us Nigerian Spider-Man. You feel me? Jamaican Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yep. You feel me? They showed us uh London Spider-Man. What happened? I feel like he got African roots. So oh, for I feel sure. that was their way of being like, yo, here y'all go. But the nigga was like a punk rock type of nigga. Mm-hmm. So he was the uh, realest one in the whole movie. Low key. He's the only one from jump. He was like, nah, I fuck with you. And the Indian the Indian Spider-Man was he held it down too. But that yeah. London Spider-Man, he was really from the moment he saw him, he was like, I got you. Yeah, he was giving him a little bit of shit in the beginning, but he was like, you know, this is all yeah. good. When niggas started chasing him, he was like, yo, I'm out of here. Fuck y'all, man. Yeah. I, was, I saw I, I saw a breakdown of um like everything that the London Spider-Man was doing. And the entire time he's collecting pieces to create the thing that he gave that he gives to the Spider Gwen. Mm-hmm. So like it was like little things that they don't even like point out in the movie. You just have to be like paying attention to everything he's doing in the background. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's good that work. So yeah, no, I seen definitely seen Spider Man ill movie. I should probably see the first like Into the Spider Verse or whatever it is because I did For not sure. watch it. So I'm gonna go back check it out. But uh, if I had to rate the movie, I'll give it like a solid like nine out of ten, man. Mm. You feel me? It was a, a really a good overall piece of work and i enjoyed it so hey man go i didn't think it was gonna end like that though me either it it was just to be continued i was like come on man i was like (laughs) like, where the fuck is the rest of the movie that's what i'm saying like like, y'all niggas gonna leave me hanging like that yeah it's all good you feel me i'll wait till the next one come out whenever that is so march of next year apparently or may shit fuck it i'll be there you know what I'm saying? So that was my uh, my Tuesday. I was watching um Spider Man. Then I came home and watched uh fucking Air Air Mag, whatever that Michael Jordan movie is. On Amazon. Yeah. So I, I seen that. And basically, like, you know the story. it was a bidding wolf for Michael Jordan. Niggas was like, yo, we'll give you 250 bands and a Benz. And Michael Jordan <laughs> mama was like, We'll take it. So like, nah. <laughs> But nah, that was a, it. Was a cool movie. It was all right. Yeah, we knew what it was. I was like, oh, you know, this is what it is. I got to see what else Amazon got on there, though. There, there's a lot of fire on there. There's um, there's a show called The Boys. Mm, I heard about it. That shit is fire. Absolute fire show. It's about like if superheroes were real, but they're like corporate um entities, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, there's one big corporation creates all these superheroes and shit like that. So basically they look like they're good guys, but they're, you know, dickheads behind the scenes and shit like that. And they're like killing people and things like that. So this group of people need to come together and try to stop these superheroes, but they don't have any superpowers and shit like that. The show is absolute. You'll just watch the first 10 minutes of it and you're going to be like, oh, yeah, this is crazy. We need to tap in, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we gotta tap in. What you been up to, Cody? What's oh, your, what's man. your week been like? Oh man, struggling. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the usual. But not, not regular, regular, degular, schmegular. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to live life, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, <laughs> you seen your boy Offset got cheated on? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> The crazy, it's crazy you say that because that's exactly where I was taking this combo. <laughs> you said, you said <laughs> regular, degular, schmegler, and I was like, hmm. like, why else? Like, Cardi B. Yeah. yeah. All said, I'm praying for you, bro. Not bro. really. <laughs> <laughs> praying for his downfall. Nah. I'm just kidding, Ooh. Offset. You see okay. Cardi B. So what, bro? Just cheat again. 
<laughs> it's okay. Like, nigga, you cheated first. It's fine. He, he posted that while he was cheating. That's the funny part. <laughs> <laughs> it's offset. Like, <laughs> Shorty was next to him in the bed. <laughs> My wife cheated on me. You know how I come. <laughs> right next to a baddie. Oh my god! Just oh, it's okay, man. All right, your wife cheated on you, bro. It happens. It's not supposed to, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Could have happened to me. I don't know. God bless. <laughs> now nah, Cardi came out there wilding on the um. Where she was on? She was talking on something on uh the Twitter's um spaces. Yeah, she was wilding for that. Was she? She was on spaces. Yeah. Yo, this celebrities on Spaces, like y'all is too big to be on Twitter Spaces, bro. Kevin like, Durant. KD, yeah, KD was in that basketball Spaces. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? He wanted to find out why people think he's not top five. I get it. All right, nigga. Listen, KD got like five hundred M's, and look, look what you're doing. Exactly. Like. That's why you're not top five, nigga. <laughs> bro, there was a there was a dude from Colin Coward show, I think it was, mm-hmm. and um. He hit him up, and I guess he was talking shit about KD. And KD, he hit him up. He was like, "Bro, you a broke boy? You look like you you look like you you took drama classes." He said, "You pussy." <laughs> I was like, "Yo, KD, a legend." Yo, he said, <laughs> and then KD. the dude hits him up. He's like, "This is why you you you're barely top fifteen because you're replying to people like me instead of playing basketball." Katie's like, yo, shut the fuck up, you bitch. I'm like, yo. <laughs> Man's got a point, but that was or K, I mean, Katie got a point. I'm not mad at either of these niggas. Don't like, worry. <laughs> I'm watching nah. a tennis match. I'm like, nah, you got a point. <laughs> okay, you got a point too. And, and then the guy, point. he's on TV. He's like, KD called me the P word. <laughs> I'm like, yo. <laughs> Yo, he could have called you a cunt, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Can we say that? I did. I think so. We'll be all right. Oh, all right. Use prom- promo code BAT Pod for it. twenty dollars off your first Seat Geek order. Word, if you have, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I had the sensor button too. I was just waiting to hear you. <laughs> Good. I don't oh, even know if I got a sent. I got a sensor button. This is it right here. You so freaky ass, nigga. <laughs> Whenever I say something flagrant. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Saturday, I got invited to Ramon Day by our good friend Armand. Trust my and, dog, man. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I made the trip from Westchester to Brooklyn with the intentions on. All right, I finished work. I'm going to go pull up to, it was like a day party type of thing because it started at like three and it ended at nine. So I was like, I'll pull up there and then I'll hit the Larry June concert because I had tickets for that afterwards. Mm. Now, this was the plan, you know, (laughs) until I get there and it's an open bar. And I'm looking at Armand and I'm like, this guy looks a little lit. So I asked him, I'm like, bro, you good? He was like, yeah. I'm like, yo, you look pretty lit. He's like, nah, I'm like two drinks away. So I'm like, all right, let me go get a drink. I'm online. I'm talking to this girl next to me. She's like telling me about like the party and shit like that because I just got there. Mm. She was like, yo, you got to get this one drink. But it was tequila, rum, and vodka with passion fruit and pineapple juice with a squeeze of lime. She was like... (laughs) She was like, this is what you need. And I was like, all right, I'm going to try it. Are you sure? But I drank one of those. I was like, okay, this is a dangerous drink. And she was like, I told you. Then she gives me a shot. And I'm like, oh, all right. (laughs) So I take the shot. And then I go back. And I'm like, wow, my drink is finished. (laughs) Let me go get another one. It's an open bar. And they were like, there's one hour left. So I was like, you know what? Let me just... I got to I got to indulge in these drinks cuz it's an open bar. Smart man. Yeah. Le- needless to say, uh 20 minutes later and um four more of those drinks plus two more shots later, I'm texting my boy who lives in Harlem like, "Yo, bro, you think you could pick me up in Brooklyn cuz I got to leave my car here." 
I can't. I can't drive. <laughs> Damn, you <we> soft, man. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was sitting there. I'm. Bro, I must have dapped up the DJ seventeen times because he kept playing reggae music and dance song music. <laughs> I dapped him up at least 17 times and told him to keep following his dreams. Yo, Eve, what you tell him? <laughs> but, oh, and I almost <laughs> forgot. Once the open bar ended, Meals pulled up. Pulled up. <laughs> Meals from RNC, the A show, he pulls up. Mm-hmm. I dap him up. Now we're hanging out. It's all three of us. We're having a good time. And then, I, you know, I, I remember this. But, like, I couldn't stop myself. Me and Meals had, like, a great conversation for 10 minutes. But it's one of those drunk conversations where you're very into the conversation. And he was at it. Because <laughs> the nigga is definitely not drunk, but you are. <laughs> yeah, so he's sitting there. It's like the KD and the Draymond uh, gif where Draymond is over here tapping KD on the chest. And KD's <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was our conversation for a solid 10 minutes, bro. Damn. Singer man, he was talking about crypto for a solid 10 minutes. <laughs> Mills was looking at this thing right there. Bro, I'm telling you, Joey Votto, three home runs tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that sound advice. Bro, and then um, somehow we ended up in another spot after, like, so the party ends. It's like 9 o'clock. I said, fuck that Larry June concert. I never even listened to his music. I was Damn. like, you know what? I don't give a fuck about no freshly pressed juice. I'm going to go to this fucking, to this other bar. So we go to like this bar. The same girl that was talking to me at that one spot was at this other bar that we ended up going to. Mm. And this dude was like, yo, here's a free drink. Bro, I took a sip out of that drink. And that's when I blacked out. (laughs) I was like, yo, what the fuck? Luckily, my boy was there. He was like, yo, (laughs) whenever you want to go, we out. So, yo, shout out to good friends. Yeah, I did not end up getting that girl's number or her Instagram because I was way too drunk to even remember. I was so sad. But before that got on, away, I just want to critique this day. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing. Well, I'll start. I'll go in reverse. The, a nigga gives you a random drink, you drink it. Foul. <laughs> Offer it. No, no. It was one of the guys that was there. <laughs> he knew He knew everybody there, but I'm there, and I don't know, like, Armand and his friends. Mm-hmm. So I guess one of them just ordered, like, a drink, and they gave him an extra one. So he was like, here, here's a free drink. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Muchos so, gracias. Yeah. Take a drink and passed out. Well, it was a cup full of tequila. <laughs> I was like, yo, what the fuck? H set niggas up. <laughs> bro, I didn't stand a chance. And then the hook, bro, I don't smoke hookah. I got asthma. But if I'm drunk <laughs> enough, I will smoke the hookah. That is strike two. <laughs> yeah, so the hookah was like, it had me in a fucking chokehold the whole time. I'm over there. I'm like, uh. Yeah, I, Actually, didn't, I didn't stand a chance. I'll take away the strike for the hookah because I know you got 8% lung capacity. <laughs> and you really, you really shouldn't and can't be smoking hookah, but. The fact that you was even around it, I'll you feel me. I'll give you a, a thumbs up. You feel me? <laughs> you didn't secure Shorty's vitals. You feel me? The name, the Instagram, the number. You feel me? That was first order of business. You feel me? Got to get to. Got to lock you in. You know what I'm saying? Then I could black out. <laughs> you feel me? And then the third strike or second, because I can't remember how many I gave. Hey man, if it was me, I would have hopped in the whip, man. I would, <laughs> I would have pushed it to wherever it is. Because <laughs> once I got behind it, I'm like, yo, it's straight, click, click. All right, cool. I'm Vin Diesel now. <laughs> Let's go. Now, bro, from from Brooklyn to to Westchester <laughs> is a fucking drive, and I I gotta drive through Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, and Manhattan just to get to <laughs> Westchester. That should sound like the Oregon Trail. <laughs> exactly. And then, bro, I had to play basketball the next morning. So I had to wake my boy up at 8 o'clock to drive me back to Brooklyn on Sunday. And then we go to Brooklyn. Then I drive to my house, shower, change and everything, then drive back midtown Manhattan to go play ball for three hours. Basketball is never – all that damn driving basketball is not worth it, bro. Nigga, like, <laughs> I- Showed up, missed three layups, went back home. 
<laughs> you know, I'm not gonna hold you. It's one of it's it was one of my best Sundays at Sunday Run Day. I I hit a nice little midi from the corner. I look like Prime Mellow from like 2013. Nah. I I hit a little I hit a little jab and then I looked. I was like, Ooh. hit that shit. I've been, I was running fucking up and down the court doing fucking basically suicides on offense and defense. I I had a day. I was scoring fucking layups. Shout out to you. Thanks. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, well, we can't say no more, man. <sighs> Shout out the guys, though. Armand, Meals. Great Shout guys. Shouts to the homies, man. Uh, we got predictions. We got yes. news and rumors. We got some talk to me nice. Let's dive in, fellas. Pause. <laughs> All right, y'all. Check it out. We got five Patreon tiers, okay? We have the dollar tier, which is just a dollar. It's a donation. We have the $5 tier, which is audio and Discord access. We have the $10 tier, which gets you audio, video, Discord access, and a discount on merch. And the $20 tier is for the ballers. You get all of that, plus you get to be on one of the shows that's on the Patreon, all right? Subscribe to the Patreon today. Become a patron. I'm Eve, and I approve this message. We out. The Black and Stable Podcast. Yeah, man. Black and Stable Podcast, episode 288. You feel me? This is news and rumors. You know what I'm saying? Every week we hit you with the newest and the latest what's going on in the wrestling world. It's only right we let that news fly. Let that news fly. Yes, sir. With that being said, man, let's get into this report that came out this week. Um, It's about L.A. Knight. Um, mm-hmm. L.A. Knight, he revealed WWE. Hold on, let me put a little graphic up for the, for the viewers on YouTube. Shouts out to everybody on YouTube, by the way, holding it down. Um, LA Knight reveals WWE converted him into a manager role as Max Dupree because of concerns over his age. Um, after moving to the main roster from NXT, he was repackaged as Max Dupree, of course, until Triple H took control of things. He says, I'm not the average 40 year old, I haven't gone through the ringer, I haven't had a bunch of surgeries or injuries, knock on wood. I've lived a good, youthful life in a certain sense, and I've taken care of myself in a way. I would say most don't. Um, reason why I bring this up is, you know, like basketball, football, 40-year-old is not really, you know what I'm saying? You, we could count the 40-year-olds that have played late in their careers on like indie sports. Mm-hmm. But as far as professional wrestling goes, we know a lot of wrestlers get into their 40s and some might even hit their prime in their 40s. So mm-hmm. for them to go about this approach for LA Knight, how you guys feel? You think WWE is like, are they wrong for making that decision for LA Knight? I mean, looking back at it now, you can see, you can see it was so much with LA Knight. But you think they're right for looking for younger superstars to push? I mean, it wasn't a – it was a pretty quick look around. They don't have many young superstars to push. Thanks. I mean, who's yeah. under 35 on the roster? There's probably like, you could probably count them on both hands. Yeah, out like of like the two on there. It ain't much. Like you said, man, I feel like around that age, between like 35, 36 to like 40, those are like wrestlers' prime years. You know what I'm saying? Because that's when they like, You've been in the game for a little bit. You learn. You hitting uh, like basketball play. A lot of athletes they say the game slowed down for me. I feel like that's when the game kind of slows down for these wrestlers. You know what I'm saying? So forty for them to kind of knock him because he he forty. It's like mm, come, could, don't could, don't do that. Come on now. You feel me? We seen a lot of who, it's a lot of have knocked them though. Because like everybody in those like positions. Like Triple H, he was wrestling in his forties. Mm-hmm. Shawn AJ Michaels Styles was putting Smash. on bangers. Yeah. AJ Styles forty, Rey Mysterio damn near forty, uh, 40, almost fifty. Edge forty nine. So it's like, come on, like. Yeah. So I wonder who. I don't know if this is like a true report where, like, you know, this was actually a thing. Maybe it was a discussion. Like, hey, maybe we put the title on a younger guy. You know, like obviously, you know, that's probably a discussion that they're having. 
especially when you have somebody like Logan Paul just, you know, running around doing shit. But I don't think this was like a real serious type of thing that they really considered. You think it's one of them, um, them cultaholic reports? Most mm-hmm. certainly. Well, no, Dad. This is L.A. Night. He was that like he talked about it in a um oh, in an okay. interview. But wait, it was a it was an interview that like he gave on like a, a podcast or something or yeah. Oh, okay, was it the G P interview? Do we know? Was Shout it? to G P also. They, I know they uh, interviewed him recently. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. it was last week. Yeah, he got some bars off in that interview too on like L.A. Night. But like, night. it's like. You could, I didn't, I don't, I don't get it. I usually, I like, I don't, I really don't get it. Because, like, if you look at the guys in the money in the bank, the favorites, L.A. Knight, Damian Priest is older than L.A. Knight. And Damian <laughs> Priest, like, you know what I'm saying? He hasn't had his big come up like that either. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they're like, you want to push younger, you could still push younger guys. Mm. You could still do that. You know, maybe Vince didn't just, he seen L.A. Knight and just didn't see it for him as, the guy to like go in the ring and put out these matches. He liked them better in in this role. You know what I'm saying? And I I can understand that because it's easy to look at things now. And L.A. Knight, one of the hottest superstars in the game right now, mm-hmm. at the time, like he's coming up. We know how Vince felt felt about NXT. Like Vince didn't watch NXT. He didn't give a fuck about NXT. So he sees this L.A. Knight guy. He he's taking a look at him. Like all right. Cool. You you could talk. That's your that's your way around things right there. Like that's his main thing. He's a character. He has a great way with words. Put him in a man in, in a manager's role. Like I can understand that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like I seen this and I'm like, yep, that makes sense. <laughs> it's Vince right there for you. It makes a whole lot of sense. Right. Hey, Amen. Vin- <clears throat> No, nah, whatever. I'll leave it alone. That's that's just some that's normal Vince shit. You feel me? It's all right, whatever. You old, you could talk. Hey, like it's Vince don't do y'all gotta understand, Vince don't do the scouting and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. Vince, he's he's like he's just the nigga at the top that's like, all right, he look at you I'm like, all right, but mm-hmm. I'm gonna find something, you feel me? Yeah, do this until you got a nigga like Triple H who does the scouting, you feel me? And he's like, All right, I I know what you could do here, just go back to what you was rocking with before. Go Shout ahead. out Bearcat Keith Lee. Bearcat. N- like, <laughs> nah, that's not because, like, those guys are all guys that Triple H signed. Like, so he knows those guys, like, more than anybody. Mm-hmm. So that's why. He- got a real rapport with niggas. That's why. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Um. So, yeah, big shouts out to LA Knight. It's proving everybody wrong, as we can see. Um, Listeners, this drops on Friday. So yesterday, June 29th, it the release date for AW Fight Forever. Oh Lord. So we here, man. We here. Shouts out to AW Fight Forever for the game. Let me play a little. Play a little sound effect, a little something. You know what I mean? I thought he was gonna play, you gonna have gameplay on it or something. Yeah, I thought it's I might have to end up getting this game because uh, a couple of my friends already have it, and they're just saying it's like a fun game to play. So, I mean, it looks like it. Yeah. I, the The only thing you know I got to knock against it is the the graphics. You know, we're kind of taking a couple steps back graphic wise, but the shit looks like a mobile game, bro. Yeah. I, we're, we're, all I'm all I'm gonna do is say well all I, I'm all well the fucking tequila is kicking in right now. Take your time, take your time. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Crip Mac. <laughs> yeah, <the two> <laughs> <laughs> but all I'm gonna say on the game is that it's the first one. So I guess they're banking on the success to make it better as time goes on. But it's gonna. I'm. I'm gonna just try it out. You know. I think my boy Wrestling Gifts. He's gonna give an actual review on the game. So, you know, I, I'll see what he says about it. Shouts to him, man. Wrestling Gifts. I love to have you on here to to talk about 
fight forever and how you feel about it. Feel me? So tap in. So if if you go by reviews out there, listeners, if y'all into reviews for games, IGN, uh, they re- they rated the game a six out of ten. So I don't know if that's gonna push people away or push people towards the game. But me personally, I seen the gameplay. I like I like how the game. It looks like it plays well. Uh, as far as the graphics, though, I, I like the graphics could probably turn some people away. To be honest. Yeah, no, nah, that's what turned me away. I don't. It just looked weird. I'm like, mm-hmm. like I said, it looked like a mobile game, or like some shit for like a Nintendo 3DS or some shit. Like it don't look like it's made for like next gen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like bro, we we're on PS5 and we're getting Xbox PS3. <laughs> yeah, like, and then it costs like seventy cash. Do I want to spend seventy cash on that? Hmm. Yeah. Who are you? Someone coffee. <laughs> God bless. If you spend a 70 cash on Fight Forever, man. Look, I, I'm going to give y'all this, uh, this gem. Wait until Thanksgiving weekend, Black Friday around the Cyber Monday around there. There's always a sale on video games. Mm-hmm. On Madden's, on 2K's, whatever it is, it's always a sale. It'd be like 20, 30, 40, 50% off. So just wait. You feel me? Yeah. Game ain't going nowhere. Oh, and that's, that was kind of my knock because you said um they probably going to get the next one better. To me, I feel like they should have just crafted this one, like made sure this one was perfect. Or, did, you know what I'm saying? Really good. And then, because I like, to me, it's like, what's the rush of putting out a video game? Well, they've been working on this on this game for like three years, but they their thing is like the gameplay and the mechanics. They put all the effort into that. Mm-hmm. So there's like a bunch of features that are they're like cool different features that you've never seen in a wrestling game before. But you know, because they spent so much time on that, I'm assuming they couldn't put the same amount of effort into making next gen worthy graphics and shit like that but they probably they blew the budget yeah we gotta we gotta maybe we gotta talk to one of their developers if we can find them if they out there holler at us let's talk yeah but yeah man we're gonna see we're gonna see about uh fight forever fight forever <laughs> shouts out to cody Rhodes he in the games you know what i'm Is saying really? yeah that's what we do. We show up in both games. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. We G's out here. <laughs> Swag. Crazy. Shouts to Cody Rhodes, man. Is he... Man, don't worry about it. I was about to be like, is he getting a check for that? For sure. You know that. He has to. Come on, man. Big bags. $17. <laughs> Cash. Relax. Oh, man. What we got? We got, man. 25 years, man. Since the anniversary of Mankind, Undertaker, the famous Hell in a Cell match, man. 25 years. Look at this match, man. This is, like, responsible for the the moment, man. The moment you see when you just talk about the wildest things in wrestling. Mankind getting thrown off the cell. Choke slam through the cell. Like, Great shit. 25 years. You know what I'm saying? It's wild. I'm, I'm not even going to hold you. This wasn't even a match. He just fucked them up for like <laughs> 30 minutes. We don't get shit like this no more, though. I mean... Every I'm, once in a while, we need something like this, man. Somebody got to sacrifice themselves the way Foley did for there's, us. There's people doing it in backyards for a hot dog, and then we just make fun of it on TikTok. <laughs> Word. This nigga's doing a GCW, bro. For and you know, rest. and you know who I think would do it? Like so somebody that would sacrifice their body for us for for a moment like this. Cody. I got it. Who you say? Cody Rhodes. <laughs> yeah, well, now that you say that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do believe Cody would do some shit like that for real. But now, nah, man, Kevin Owens, man. I got I, kn- I knew you were gonna say Kevin <laughs> Owens. You think so? Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like shit like that, like with wild things. Like I feel like KO wanna just wild out 
Like Kevin Owens always want to jump off some shit, go through <laughs> some tables or some shit. Like I just feel like if they come to KO with a plan, like yo, such and such, this was going down. He'll be we'll be right with it. Like oh, yeah. maybe we need Kevin Owens versus Cody Rhodes in a fucking hell in a cell. Mm. And a jump off of some shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I hope this happens in the future now. That'll be a ill match. <laughs> yeah. Bro, there'll be so much blood. Oh my god. Yeah, nah, Kevin Owens, that's interesting because I like I know Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes like to bleed. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I can see him like sacrificing his body. Him, KO's a good one. Jeff Hardy done been there. You feel me? Done that. Um, th- damn, it's really it's not many people I see doing that. You feel me? Jumping off the shit. Well, Shane. As far as like new niggas go, I don't. I don't really see many people. I don't think yeah. not, not too many people are about it. Yeah, nah, man. These, these new crop of niggas is pussy, man. <laughs> 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 we need some real ones like Foley to, to, to take one, bro. Take one for the team, bro. Yeah, I was watching uh, NXT earlier, and I'm looking at them. Not a single person would try to even do that shit. Mm-hmm. No, not a that's, one. But that's what the game is missing, bro. Every every team, you need one of those people that take one for the team, bro. You need a Dennis Rodman. You Dylan need a Gross. Draymond Green. You need a Dylan. You need one of those niggas out. Take one for the team, bro. You feel me? Go out. They do the dirty work. Hustle, please. It's not all about the glamour shit. You need somebody on the other end hustling, doing all the that fucking dirty. dog. We're yeah. missing dogs in professional wrestling right now. Facts. Ah. <laughs> feel me? What's that guy in uh, AEW? Darby Allen. Darby Allen. Darby Allen's their dog. He's yeah. their Dylan Brooks. He'll, he'll do the dumbest shit for no reason, right. and nobody's even watching. And then he's like, I'll do it again. This nigga's finishing moves is a coffin jar, bro. He's not even looking where he's jumping. He's, <laughs> he's just jumping backwards. That's real. Man, Tony Khan tell this nigga to down. We need you to down on TV. <laughs> I bet I'm rolling. On a dark match. <laughs> <laughs> Get the crowd going. Word. <laughs> Go ahead, do it. I seen him in uh I actually seen him on the indies in like 2017. And he faced Walter. Bro, <laughs> Walter beat the fuck out of him <laughs> for 25 minutes. Where was this match at? Where were you at? This, this was season? in a this was by Coney Island. And like it was in a a this nigga see school. Walter wrestler from the Nathan nigga. Oh, bro, <laughs> nah, bro, it was crazy. That card it had um, it had Darby <laughs> Allen, Walter, it had um, oh my god, what's the dude who he's a manager in AEW? Um, Stokely Hathaway. A, yeah, Stokely Hathaway was there. Mm. Um, Joey, it was Joey something. Joey Janela. Yes, Joey Janela was there. Yo, Manny being the random ass places. Bro, like, bro, there was so many different people. And I go there, I, like, I think it was like 20 bucks or 25 bucks. So I went with my boy and we were like, oh, I've never done in like an indie show before. Let's check it out. Mm. And my goodness, I'm telling Walter beat the fuck out of like he was chopping them for the first, first 10 minutes. Like, Darby got no offense, and then he gets the offense in, and then Walter just – bro, I think he threw him to the ceiling at that point. Fucking Swat. slammed him <laughs> down. I was like, God damn. Hey, man. Shout out hey. <laughs> – Shit like that will always catch your eye, man. Mm-hmm. This nigga's wrestling on Coney Island. Bro. And then he took – Yo, after the show, he, he got on a fucking skateboard and – Oh, Matt Riddle <laughs> was there as well. Matt Riddle was also there. He was smoking weed outside of the, uh, outside of the, um, or like gym with a bunch of fans. He was at an Evolve show. He I don't know if it was Evolve. Evolve. I'm not sure if it was. That's funny. Is Evolve still around? Loki, I want to go to another one. But I don't that know. That one that we went to was fun. Yeah, no, nah, the one we, we went to was fun. Everybody on that card is basically in the WWE or AEW right now. That's a fact. So, 
Hey, man. Shouts to Evolve, man. Shouts to Wrestling. Yeah. Shout out to the dogs. Or Damn, I don't even got a dog drop. I thought I had the Titus O'Neil uh, dog. <laughs> That's a sick dog. That's a sick <laughs> dog. <yeah. laughs> I thought I had that shit. I'm going to find it, though. <laughs> Play that DMX one more time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll do for now. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, do we gotta talk about Daniel Bryan, or are we gonna save that when we talk about um, Forbidden Door? Uh, we could save it for Forbidden Door. Yeah, you know, get all of that out at that time. Um, what else we got here? We got the BRP fifty. Oh, we didn't do the top ten. We have it right here. Big shouts out to Bianca Belair. <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> yeah, That's mad funny. Baby Robert girl. Lashley, number three. Yeah. We'll bring up the full list, but um Bianca Belair, number one. Carmelo Hayes, number two. Big Bobby Lashley, number three. You know what I mean? Ricky Stokes, oh, Lil Wes. Yo, I'm not going to lie. Wesley, we ain't doing an interview in a minute. Wesley, that's somebody I do on the interview soon. Mm-hmm. Facts. Uh, Athena, Mercedes, Max Caster, Jade, Rico. Okay. Rico right, let, me look, let me look oh, up the actual. Uh, oh, you got it right there. Yeah, here we go. Shout right, out to this, man. A lot of people are showing love to the list. You feel me? This year, nobody was, you know, last year, Swerve was a clown about it. You know what I'm saying? He doubled down on Kaz's show. This year, everybody was cool. Everybody was, you feel me, showing love, retweeting it, spreading the word. I love to see that, man. Bro, I read it too quick. I thought it said Charlotte Flair was at 27. Mm-mm. I was about to start asking some <laughs> questions. Yeah, hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Real talk. Shouts out to everybody, man. This is dope. Real shit. And like you said, everybody's showing love. You know what I'm saying? That's all it, that's all what it's about. Y'all, you know what I mean? That's all what it's about. It's just showing love and representing. Who's um wait, scroll down to the top ten real quick. Who is uh Brian Keith? Nigga, you gotta <laughs> you asking the wrong niggas, man. So then that uh... That's what I'm saying. I, I was like, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe, you know. Um, He's a dude on the indies. Because I know everybody else in the in the top ten, so. He is a dude on the end. Let me see. Anthony Bowens. I don't know. Can you scroll up a little bit? Let me see. Jade didn't make the top ten. She didn't? Nah, she nah, is, like, is number 13. 13, yeah. Darius Carter. Darius Carter's ill. He's another, I guess, I don't, I don't know what to call him, indie or local. I don't know what to call him, but he's ill. Mm-hmm. Fuck with Darius Carter. Um, This list was good. I, I really like this list. There was only a couple things I questioned, too. Like the Naomi, the Naomi thing, Naomi being at uh, 36. And she'll be low. Like yeah, she'll be like top ten. <laughs> oh my god! To be honest with you, top ten like not like one through ten. Yeah, like around here somewhere. You Naomi? Think? Yeah. Nigga can't even say that shit with a straight face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Top That's ten. Right. Shout out to Peeps. She uh, <laughs> she hit me up on Twitter. She was like, "How could you say this?" <laughs> well, now she pressed you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting there. I'm like, when I tell you that I just spread misinformation, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to tell the truth. <laughs> but I spread misinformation. Oh my god, <laughs> bro! It'd be me and Trump just lying for no reason. <laughs> Yo, you heard him say, uh, yeah, I don't I don't know like why these guys keep saying I have documents in my house. And then the pictures came out and it's just a whole bathroom filled with documents. 
It's mad tubs. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's the whole. They filled up the entire guest bathroom as soon as you walk in the house, which is boxes of documents, and it says, "Fucking do not read government property <laughs> like, documents." <laughs> Secret. Do- this right here has the nuclear code right here. You could blow up Taiwan if you wanted. Nigga got it in a bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> right next to the right in, right next to the Dove soap. Damn. It's like oh oh those documents. Oh my fault. That, that I mis- <laughs> I thought it said documents. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. <laughs> Walk. <laughs> Walk. <laughs> <laughs> Money back, you'll go if we gave you money. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga played the drum. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Walk to Poland, nigga. <laughs> oh, you mean we couldn't keep those? The mm. thing that says do not keep? Oh, I wasn't some. Oh, my fault. That's mm. on me. He's like, our truth. <laughs> when he tried to remember, it was like the day after the money in the bank or some shit, and he just bought out a ladder. <laughs> my bad. Yeah. Oh, me. <laughs> my fault. <laughs> that was him with fucking worldwide secrets in his house. Yo. Swag. Oh, man. Classic. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to <laughs> Top 50. Fact. Shouts to BRP. Shouts to the Yo. Link. Yo, we should make a top 50 or something. Just like top 50 of foreign objects. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, do they still call it foreign objects? I remember as a kid, I was like, oh, oh, there's some real shit that they got now. It's a foreign object. And it's just a regular chair. (laughs) A spoon. (laughs) Yeah, man. <laughs> what else you got, man? That's all I have for uh, news and rumors. We can get into this week in wrestling. You bet. Hell yeah. Acknowledge me. Rhea Ripley. The strong is the fastest. I'm that. I don't miss this week in wrestling. And with the hand rub, you know what I'm saying? This week in wrestling, oh, man, I'm about to usually like to go in order, but I'm going to just jump all over the place, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I do want to show some love. Big shouts out to Carmelo Hayes for making his main roster debut. And we got to play some applause. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? He made his main roster debut in defeat to Finn Balor. Now, do we have a problem with that? No. No, okay. All right, no, just making sure. Exactly how it's supposed to happen. Yeah, exactly. All right, just making sure. You know what I'm saying? Just have to make sure. Um, I got to see who I'm got gonna... beef with them now, though. Oh, for who? sure. Who got see, beef? Uh, Rhea pressed them in NXT yesterday. She was like, yo, pull up on my mans one more time. And it, we upping it. We upping it over here. He was like, oh, my fault. My fault, OG. Mm. So, <laughs> you know? Rhea's out here being the muscle. God first off, God bless Rhea, man. Secondly, I just want to address the people who thought that uh, Melo should have won against Finn. <sighs> yeah, I haven't said this in a long time, but uh, yo, some of y'all brains, this right here is not developed. You know what I'm saying? If Finn Balor, let's do the simple maps real quick. All right, let's if do it. Finn Balor has a championship match on Saturday <laughs> versus Seth Rollins, and he's been looking strong for the past three weeks, beating niggas up and winning matches. Why will you now have him lose four days ahead of his match with Seth to a nigga from NXT? Hardy R. I said the hardy yard. Yeah, you went crazy, bro. I didn't say the hard. I said nigga. No. <laughs> oh man. But anyway, that, why would listen, you have points were made. Nigga in NXT, man. The NXT champion. You feel me? It doesn't make sense. You feel me? Even if Finn was on NXT, the nigga would probably smoke 
Carmelo Hayes, bro. <laughs> so right. let's just put that to rest. It doesn't make sense. Get it out your minds. Your cabeza. You feel me? Yeah. Do you think Carmelo pulls up on Saturday? No. Nah. I mean, Rhea, if Rhea pulls up on NXT and she's like, yo, you better stay out of this or you're going to be our problem now, like. No, I don't think he goes to because that's a, a London trip. You know what I'm saying? You are NXT, bro. You what? Why you, you got the per diem? Yeah, it's like chill. Take it easy, bro. Triple yeah. H looked at him. He was like, "There's no bus to London. I'm sorry." <laughs> Where we do have this immersive submarine, <laughs> <laughs> and nah. it's the same one that just blew up. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. Like the 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 whole decision, like yeah, the right person won, but. I think making this match was dumb. This match was dumb as hell. Like, why is why is he just here, like having a match, and and the next night he has to defend his title against Carl, and he got to. I thought this up. was like like you're saying. I think it was. I don't think it's a dumb match to make. I think it was maybe just too soon of a match to make, because like they're doing like a whole bunch of Survivor Series type of things, but we're in the middle of July. I don't like nah. I'm I'm cool with I'm cool with him having a match. It's just like the the guy is defending his title the next night mm-hmm. against Baron Corbin. Yeah, and this goes to say like no one should care about Baron Corbin at all. And this is another reason why the man just took a L last night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he wake up and Baron Corbin, man, yo, I don't care what you character you got back. I don't care about none of that. I really don't. Like you, you, you not hype. He, he's back as the lone wolf. Can you play the dog bark? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, nigga came back and took a L. Like, all right, you go back to the drawing board, nigga. You losing with this character. You losing with that character. Like. Come on. I ain't rolling. I'm cool, Chief. Hey, man, I said it on, um, shout, first of all, shout to Patreon, patreon.com slash Black Announce TV. A new watch along is out. You feel me? We watched Money in the Bank 2020, the pandemic Money in the Bank, um, myself and Banks. But in that uh, episode, I was talking about Baron Corbin, what his future should be. You know what I'm saying? They bring him back uh, Raw Underground or NXT or whatever you want to call it. They bring in that back. Baron Corbin is a former Golden Gloves boxer. I feel like you should just have him serving. He loved to beat niggas up anyways backstage. Just have the niggas serving niggas up with hands in Raw Underground. And let that be his claim to fame. Like He just beat niggas up. You feel like, um, what was that dude when they did the slobber knocker? Butterball? No, nah, not butter. butter it was bean. butter bean. Butter butterball's the turkey. Butter bean, butterball. Nah, it was like his butter name. Was Bart, it was Bart Gunn. Bart Gunn was like an actual boxer too. So they didn't think he was gonna win, so they would just make him fight people, and he was knocking everybody the fuck out. <laughs> so just make him make Baron Corbin fucking Bart Gunn. Yeah. Look, look who you want to make him. <laughs> like, look, yo, this Bart the, Gun was on a run, bro. He was legit knocking man, the fuck out of evil. That's the only thing he was known for. Like, yo, look who you want to make Baron Corbin. Who could have thought that Butterbean was gonna knock him into tomorrow? Not me. <laughs> they can hit him in one of them cartoon knockouts. One of these <laughs> shits. <laughs> the wind. <laughs> they can say, "Whoa." <laughs> <laughs> Imagine getting knocked out like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Baron Corbin, man. Hey, I'm happy you back as a lone wolf. I think you feel me? All that happy Corbin shit. The broke boy Corbin was ill. Dominican Corbin was probably my favorite, but you back as the lone wolf. I, I don't know. I, I want to see what they do. Hopefully, you feel me? You get some burn. You, you know, you get something. I see that tequila just hit you right here. It 100% did. Yeah, 1,000%. But, yeah, man. 
No, another thing happened on the um on Raw. I was watching uh the Ricochet and Shinsuke Nakamura joint. Fire. They had, yeah. They had um Bronson Reed at ringside. So I'm watching Bronson get involved in everything. I'm like, damn, I know they that's triple threat about to be some heat on Saturday. And then I realized, like, fam. They in the money in the bank match, and Bronson Reed is don't have a match on the card. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what are y'all doing? It's like for the past few weeks, y'all been getting him involved in everything. He's like not even on the card. Like, you got to weasel his way into some shit, man. Maybe he's like a backup, like just in case somebody's hurt or something like that. They just, you know, throw in Bronson Reed, so they they're doing this to have him as a backup because that made no sense whatsoever. It's yeah. literally like Shinsuke and Seth, uh, uh, Shinsuke and uh, Ricochet. In between every move, they'll point at the fucking the money in the banks, and then Bronson Reed's just sitting there. Hmm. Honestly, Bronson Reed should be in that match, and if I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be mad if he won it. To be honest, if he was in the match, I think he should be in the match. But hey, he, I don't run the show. He got to get involved. He gonna, you think he gonna call somebody some shit? He had to. Like, why y'all got him in this shit like this for? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I just locked in my prediction of who's gonna win based off of that. You, you know what else I thought during this match? One, well, you said he was out there for really no reason because you're not involved in anything. But when the referee threw him out, I was like, yo, what's you a bad guy i was like what's stopping you from just ignoring the referee and going in there and killing these niggas anyways like you're already interjecting yourself into the match who cares like the referee don't got no like power over you for real i was i don't know i just this one one of them things that just hit me i was like what what would happen what if the referee's like yo you're out of here he was just like no i'm not <laughs> you're out of here. i don't gotta listen to you word some up close in the crowd Word like just you know I don't know that's just what I thought about random but it, it crossed my mind yeah no definitely um what else happened on what I got for this week I do want to give a shout out to Rhonda and Shayna Baszler for what uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh they unified the WWE and the NXT Women's Tag Team Championships you know mm-hmm. what I mean them paperweights in hand okay. you know. What I mean? And we got um a Liv Morgan return. I know that makes some people happy out there. Turn it up. Wait, uh, Eve, you don't support your fellow Trinidadians? Come on, man. Yeah, Rhonda's Trinidad. You know I do. I support my Trinidadians so much that I placed a bet on tonight's game. You feel me? Trinidad versus Jamaica. I I placed a nice wage on it. Oh, it's tonight. Yeah, you feel me? Trinidad got their boots smoked four to one, but it's all good. That's how loyal of a country man I am. Damn. I could have told you that was gonna happen. <laughs> I, seen, I seen those odds, and I still put money on my country, man, no matter what. Fucking degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the dude with the Trini flag was doing when he saw Rhonda. He was, <laughs> yo, Trini, yo, I don't know how we get in contact with this man. Uh, hopefully he sees this. I don't know. IWC working magic. Yes. But if Trini- you're a listener and you can connect us with the Trini flag guy, I He's need I need to have a conversation with him. You'll see him at every. I guarantee he will be at Money in the Bank on Saturday, and he will be at SmackDown on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> he will be at Monday Night Raw on Monday. He will be everywhere, bro. You I want to know what his miles is looking like. No, his guy miles is crazy. Gotta be. It has to be. I want to know what this. How are you bred it up like this to be front row at every show every week? Bred it up. Like what? <laughs> what is your bank like? What do you do? Because I'm trying to do it too. Well, that's a fact. But salute to my my Trini uh, Trini flag man. He, I could be related to him some way, somehow. So, mm. salute to you, brother. No, nah, that's a fact. But yeah, man. Um, on this show, what are we talking about? Raw, right? Anything. 
All right, so Monday Night Raw. This man Cody Rhodes brought his dog to work, man. I thought that was outrageous, man. White people, y'all go too damn far sometimes. <laughs> Doggy. This man What's brought him, uh Pharaoh. This man wow. brought his animal to work. Now, if I bring my pit bull to work, it's an issue. <laughs> 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 I bring my dog while a couple of Rottweilers to work as a problem. <laughs> but he could bring this white dog. <laughs> bring this all white dog to work and it's all good. You wasn't feeling the doggy? I don't know. You a hater. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can bring it up, man, for y'all. That but that's wild. That ain't a real dog. That ain't a Frenchie. Right. That ain't a pit. He was he was giving Dominic Cat in the hat lines. He's like, uh, this this one time I heard this this guy say, like, uh, nice. He bodied him with it too. Yeah, he was like, you know who said that one? He had <laughs> me at first. I got scared too. I'm like, oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> but Damn, white no. people love bringing their dogs to work. <laughs> they love that and racism. Just <laughs> Yo. the, dog got, the dog got on a blood flag. <laughs> like Matt Riddle daughter. Come on, we here. <laughs> Snake dog. See how it all connects? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Snake a dog Pyru. <laughs> crazy, bro. Whack 100. Got it through. You know what I mean? Scooby Roo. <laughs> all right. <laughs> 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 Scooby Boo, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. That shit crazy. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listening to him when Adam was breaking down what his wife was about to do. <laughs> Shout out to Crip Mag, man. We need to talk wrestling with Crip Mag one of these days. <laughs> The brain cells I'm going to lose, bro. The brain cells I'm going to lose. Oh, man. I'm salty, man. Um, <laughs> because, say it again. I'm going to get Crip Mac, bro. Oh, fuck. He's going to be like, you remember when... Uh... <laughs> God but, damn it, Batista <laughs> and Randy Savage. Wait, He's man. gonna be start naming fake matches that never happened. Word, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Also, Monday Night Raw. Well, this is a, I ain't gonna lie. This is a solid Monday Night Raw, man. We got Ricochet and uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, Finn Balor and um, Carmelo Hayes. Which is a, a, a dope match. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I thought it was a very fair match. You feel me? Some y'all may have thought Melo should have won. And I I know I love Melo the way y'all do too. You feel me? We all love Melo. You feel me? But let's be let's be fair here. He got in a fair amount of offense. He looked good. They had a really solid match. It's a great start. You know what I'm saying? Let's leave it there. Boom. I agree. The women, I don't even know what happened with the women this week. I really can't remember. They were squabbled up. Who? Who? Everybody in the um in the uh had a, had money a, in the bank match. Yeah. Mm, and then EO, yo, EO went crazy. I need to see who's gonna be in this money. Well, we're gonna talk when we get to predictions, yeah. but money in the bank for the women. I, I don't think I have a a standout no. like of a person set to win. Like I really don't know who I wanted I wanted Zelina to win. And then like she got like packed up in the beginning of the squabble. Mm. And then EO looked strong, but I'm like, they make them look strong so that they lose at the end. So I'm like, I, I don't even know who to pick. And then Bailey won it before. So oh no. I'm gonna make that decision in the moment. Yeah, no, I don't know either, man. But when we get to it, I'm gonna pull up like the last like five money in the bank winners for men and women, and I'm gonna we we gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about it. But uh, Monday Night Raw overall pretty solid. 
SmackDown, if y'all want to jump over to that. Yeah. No, it was what it was. Oh, yeah. Also, on Monday Night Raw, we got Gunther. Thank you for bringing this up. We got uh, Gunther and um, Sami Zayn. Very Matt good. Riddle. Hey, man. I usually, y'all know how I feel about Sami Zayn and KO right now. Whenever they come on TV, I tune out. I've had enough of them. But this match, I was satisfied. It was really good. You feel me? Had no complaints, no qualms. Um, is that going to be a match on a Saturday, the three on three? Is it? I don't know. It. It was. I know Matt Riddle helped the uh, KO and Sammy fight no, off it, Imperium. It, it, Riddle, Riddle and Gunther. And, yeah, yeah. It's Riddle and Gunther. Yeah. Oh, it is Riddle and Gunther. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's Riddle and Gunther, and that's gonna be, man. Say, hey, man. No, nah, I think I think we're shaping up for. Uh, it's gonna be a good show. It's gonna be a good show. This was a good go home uh, Monday Night Raw. Mm-hmm. SmackDown. I don't know if y- y'all want to jump over to that. Real yeah, quick. go ahead. Go. Man, what what do I recall from SmackDown on Friday, man? Hmm. The Usos came out. You feel me? Jimmy and Jay basically said, "We's free." You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> like we not under the Roman Reigns regime no more. You feel me? Ain't no more bloodline. It's back. The Uso Penitentiary back, y'all. I was like, you know, good for y'all boys, man. Round of applause. <laughs> I'm proud of you. If nobody told you, Ephraim's proud of you. Man. Um, that's enough for y'all. You feel me? Y'all, you won your freedom back from Roman Reigns. Now it's the Civil War. We're about to see that tag match on Friday for not Friday, uh, Saturday. So, hmm. what happens? To be determined, man. We're gonna find out. But all I know is that this man, uh, Solo, is this nigga got a, an anger issue, bro. Because wow, uh, my son Rich Holland pulled up on. He didn't even say nothing crazy. Like Rich Holland was just like, "What you looking at?" And this nigga Solo hit him with the Samoan spike. Swag. Like, cleared him all. That's, that's all it takes. Chill, Solo. Chill, bro. <laughs> hey, I like it. You know. My boy Ridge couldn't breathe. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Whole lot, nigga. Nigga did the Reggie Miller shit. To- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, man. Uh, Bianca, her and Adam Pierce going back and forth. I like that. I seen. A, I, I heard a lot of people talking about, oh, is Bianca going to turn heel? You feel me? She's been getting really chippy with Adam Pierce. I don't think Bianca is turning heel, man. You feel me? I think. If y'all don't know, when a black woman is frustrated, she got to take matters in her own hands. That'll <laughs> make her a heel. You feel me? She's just handling business. Real rap. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? So Bianca right now is not turning heel. It's just a discrepancy between her and the higher <laughs> up. And she's like, all right, if y'all don't handle it, I'm going to handle it. You feel me? Nigga. So we could do this your way or we could do this my way. You feel me? So if y'all don't handle it, y'all better pray it don't have to happen my way. It's going to get ugly. And that's usually how it goes. You feel me? That's the warning. It's like, yo, I'm I'm being polite with y'all. I'm, I'm coming to y'all fair and I'm asking you, please do right by me before I blow this whole shit up. <laughs> and then, you feel me? If it don't go right, then she got to take matters in her own hands. But no, Bianca's not turning heel. Let's all relax. You feel me? She's just... She's like I said, handling business. Also, speaking of Bianca, and I know I'm talking a lot here, guys. I'm sorry. S- salute to Black Love, Montez and Bianca celebrate. I think it was five years of their marriage. You feel me? So round of applause for that. You feel me? <laughs> celebrated, celebrated five years. They renewed their vows in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? They look very happy. So, you know, Bianca. <laughs> so, Bianca, I hope you're happy. You know what I'm saying? One day I hope we can speak. You know what I'm saying? Does Montez have all, does Montez have all of this? <laughs> can he do this? Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, oh, my God. Real rap. Yeah, yeah, Yo, I talked enough. I was watching uh NXT mm. and <laughs> I wonder if they're 
doing this on purpose or not, but I feel like NXT has more storylines similar to like the Bloodline storyline going on, like the one with um with uh, Gallus and uh, what's the Italian the Italian guy's called Tony D. Yeah, Tony D. And like how his man's betrayed him, mm. and like they got him on the phone ratting. <laughs> like, bro, that shit looks like a movie. Like they doing like some fucking Sopranos type shit on NXT. And then got- like I'm watching, I'm like, bro, there's like three different storylines where it's like actual stories being told. Like, oh, I'm being betrayed over here, things like that. So. <laughs> I wonder if they're trying to get like this crop of new wrestlers to be storyline driven as well as being like wrestlers, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. I feel like with the main roster, most of the main roster probably wouldn't be able to pull off like a story where they have to act well as well as put on these matches where it's going to have like Easter eggs of things that are going to happen and at a later time or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so no, I definitely, I definitely feel that. I feel you on that too, because like I said, I say it all the time on the show, man. Take two hands to clap. You know what I'm saying? So you could be super gifted, and super talented in the ring, but you also got to have that other side down packed mm-hmm. as well. So, bro, they got Braun Breaker doing it. Braun Breaker, every time I see him, he's like acting during his promos, like he. Yeah. He just left Shawn Michaels' office yesterday, and, like, he was doing, like, a whole scene with that. Then a couple weeks ago when he's in the barbershop making everybody look like a bitch, <laughs> and he's in there dolo, and they're just sitting there with their head down. Like, you know, like, they got these guys doing actual acting for promos, and it's not like some, all right, talk for 30 seconds and try to sell the match. Like, yeah. you know, Jungle Boy, I hope you heard that. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's tough to look like a tough guy when you're 5'2, 93 pounds. <laughs> tough word. Like, I could grab you by a shot, I could lift you up like this <laughs> one handed. <laughs> Why y'all kill a jungle boy like that? <laughs> Bro, all I'm saying, I got a, I got a calf the size of a tree trunk. I, I don't believe him. He, he don't got no hate in his heart. He needs to. Go to church and figure some shit out. Whoa, 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 whoa. So what you're saying right now on the Black Announce Table podcast, episode 288, you're challenging Jungle Boy to a one-on-one match. That's what's going on right right now. It's going down right here, Manny. This is what you're telling us right now. It's not even a match, bro. I'd beat the fuck out of Jungle Boy. <laughs> oh. 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 Out of love, though. I think, I think Jungle Boy is cool, but, like, just to like let him, like, bro, you a good kid. You don't gotta do this, and I'll just like shake him for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't you. <laughs> like, bro, you see this forearm, bro. He's getting, you know, uh, Jungle Boy don't want on me, man. Bro, I please. smack the shit out of Jungle. <laughs> bro, I hate my job. You know, <laughs> you know how hard it is to fight somebody who hates their job. Yeah, nah, for because that's what I'm saying. I'm like, boy, like, stop playing with me, bro. Because it would turn into it would start as a fight and then turn into me robbing him. <laughs> well, I smacked the shit out of him, put him, put him on the wall, go in his pockets. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah just stay still. Man. <laughs> stop playing. And this is why you can't. This is why you can't be a bad guy. Because when people like this are talking about him like that, bro, what is he? He's gonna get Luchasaurus to try to press me. Ooh, <laughs> I'll tear his ACLs, both of them. Luchasaurus. Yo, what you gonna do when I pull that mask off your face? <laughs> uh, look, man, that's the I'm gonna hit him with that Bronx karate. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze. That's the perfect segue to Forbidden Door. <laughs> Segway Kings. Yeah, wow. Look, man. Nigga like said Bronx karate. I'm gonna hit the nigga with the Long Island karate. You know what that is? <laughs> this right? Can y'all see the numbers on the screen? I'm gonna call nine one one. Oh, uh, yeah. so forbidden, forbidden door. 
Forbidden door, man. Yes. <laughs> Had to open the door. This <laughs> shit <laughs> closing. <laughs> it's the injury report. Bro, we're oh, man. <laughs> Got a lot of a lot of some lot of heat on here. So you time hold on. Let me get my bottle of water. Oh, I'll be right back. What do you say? You say he's smoking loud? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> he said he had to go get the ketamine pack from the dude just pulled up. So, Cody, what what are some of your takeaways? If you if you had to be like, yo, watch these. How many matches were on there? That looked like. God damn. It was 14 God. matches, and they had five pre-show matches. Jesus, bro, 19 matches. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm back. 14. It was 14 total y'all, matches. Y'all see the chill on that bottle of water? Oh, I thought you were getting ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> what what were your top five matches of the of the night, Cody? Look, I'ma just say it like this. I'ma just <laughs> say it exactly like this. On this forbidden door card. Match of the year, man. My early match of the year candidate, uh, Which Kenny, Kenny Omega and Will Ospreay. Okay, a fucking clinic. That match. Well, I don't know if you got the uh, the car pulled up. It was. It went for like thirty minutes. No, 30, I thought that was a long match. Minutes. Yep, forty minutes. Nah, that's crazy. Put the car back up, but yeah. Yep, thirty nine. Jesus. All right, ma- match of the year so far. Match of the year so far for me, man. There's a fucking clinic. So they got two matches of the year. Cause didn't they wrestle at the, the top of the year? This one right here. Top of the year. I mean the nigga said it was um match of the year. Now they saying it's match of the year again. No, this is no I don't know about they. No, C- Cody Dre. <laughs> this is <laughs> for me so far. Match of the year. Okay. This one right here. Fire. Fire, a fucking clinic. My boy Daniel Bryanson, <laughs> to to quote um <laughs> Chris, um uh, broke his arm. You seen, his arm you seen the, the X-ray? Yeah, I seen that. I seen that um X-ray picture. Bro, they they try to say uh I think this was on Sunday. They were like, oh Daniel Bryan out six to eight weeks with a broken arm. I was like, okay. I'm sitting there. I'm like, I broke my wrist when I was when I was like 13. And I had to be in a cast for three months. How the fuck is a 70-year-old Daniel Bryan gonna be back in eight weeks with a broken look at that shit? Yeah, that, that looked like them um them Chinese chicken wings. Yeah, <laughs> you, bite that, you bite that shit that first bone break. That's exactly. What that and they're like, oh, yeah, no, six to eight weeks, bro. He's definitely out for some time. Yeah, nah, this is uh, this is crazy, bro. Wait, how long was the match? So he. Their match was 27 minutes. And he broke it 10 minutes in? Mm hmm. Nigga wrestled 17 minutes with a broken arm. And then he did a submission to end the match. Swag, bro. And it's a couple things I want to say about that match in this card, period, bro. Like, um, damn, where do I start? I, I guess I'll start with the, the Brian match. To okay. me, I like I watched the whole match and it didn't, I don't know, I felt like it, it never hit that next gear. Like, you feel me? Like, it was pretty tame, you know what I'm saying? Like, and for as not like for the amount of like gas that niggas put on it like niggas like yo this this is a dream match this is match of the year i feel like it didn't live up to that you feel me and then that got me thinking about like niggas just calling shit dream matches when niggas call some shit a dream match the shit the shit never ends up being good bro but to be fair to, to give him some bail he had a broken arm 
<laughs> he had a broken arm. Bro. Like, there's no next gear when my shit's broken. <laughs> Nigga, whose fault is that, bro? Like, <laughs> Drink some milk, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? That's He's just vegan. He can't and, drink no milk. He's that's vegan. What you get, nigga. Eat a steak, nigga. Eat a cow. <laughs> nourish, nourish your body and fortify your bones, bro. <laughs> if you was eating steak, chicken, pork. Men should eat steak, chicken, pork. If you was eating shit like that, you wouldn't have to worry about your bones getting broke. You feel me? But you want to eat goat cheese. You want to eat. Oh, fucking it's vegan. Asparagus. There ain't no goat cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Nigga, you want to get all this bullshit, bro. He's um, drinking water. <laughs> yeah, like you doing all this bullshit, bro. Go go eat a steak, bro, and fortify your bones, man, with some calcium. Bro, he, said, he said he don't want no pork on his fork. And look what happened. You got <laughs> your bones is broke. <laughs> yeah. I ain't, nah, but like, like prior, like as they announced the match, you didn't feel like this was a dream match like going into it of course like i, th- I think it was a, like you can consider this a dream match in my personal I, I do i did and i still do consider this a dream match on paper you feel me but it didn't i feel like it didn't deliver that and granted okay. yes the nigga did break his arm but still i didn't like i didn't get that like that vibe from it when they was you know what i'm saying when they was wrestling and even i thought about other dream matches and i was like we I we still didn't get that, you know what I'm saying? Like when you remember when they advertised AJ Styles and Shinsuke at WrestleMania as a dream match, huh. and and that shit was a like it was a dud. You feel me? Like it, I don't want to say it was a dud, but it just it didn't deliver. You feel me? Yeah. So like I feel like niggas calling shit dream matches is just I feel like y'all putting too much expectation on something. You feel me? Yeah. Like, and then when it don't live up to the expectation, you you get upset. You feel mm-hmm. me? And I'm not usually that type. I, I don't expect too much from a map but literally it was just it was this match and it was the kenny omega match that i the only two matches that i saw being promoted for this card it's 14 matches here i only seen two matches get promoted you feel me and it was these two the brian match and the kenny omega match they did not promote no sonata versus jungle jack perry they didn't promote no damn combat club like it was mainly kenny omega and it was mainly um, god damn it, ah! <laughs> ah! Brian Danielson. Oh. So yeah, it was like I don't know. Man. I, I I do got to run. I got to run back the uh, the Kenny Omega match. I saw like the last like ten minutes of it, and but by the time I came back, I see. I think Kenny Omega was like bleeding. It was. It looked like a lot was going on. So I definitely got to run that match. Um, match back. the the Fatal Four Way match. I know. I seen a lot of people was high on that one. I, I I wasn't wasn't my style of things. Um, it, it felt like too choreographed. A lot of the spots it didn't hit with me. Like I don't like my wrestling like just like that. But um, I, I feel like a, a lot of people thought that was a um a favorite from this card as well. CM Punk, um, Kojima, CM Punk. I mean, hey, be honest. It was cool. It was cool. I ain't, I ain't gonna shit on it. It was cool. Like as I didn't even know he had a match on this card to be honest with you. So this was like like because he came back and they didn't make no really announcements until like last minute for Punk, uh, MJF, Tanahashi. I seen I seen a little bit of this. I tuned in a little late, so you know what I'm saying. Um, is it the the ten man tag match was cool? I enjoyed that as well, man. But for me. For me, man, Osprey, Omega, yeah, man. that's the one. <laughs> that's it, man. That's it. That that that's that got my attention one. right there. Shouts out to Daniel Bryan. Hold your head. Hold your arm. You be all right. Sammy Arm and us is with you. The fuck? Yeah, now that's a lot of. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna be nice. Salute to uh, Forbidden Door, man. You feel me? Y'all did y'all thing. What would you uh? Hey, look, I'm not I'm not a New Japan guy, so it really like it didn't move me like that. Mainly because I'm like I don't know these niggas. You feel me? So a lot like like I said, a lot of these these was dream matches or matches that you wouldn't see. So that's just what I took it for. You know what I'm saying? Like these matches that you would normally get. So I thought it was cool, like 
you know, as far as that goes, but mm-hmm. you know, it wasn't it wasn't really moving me like that, man. I don't know these niggas, bro. I feel you. I tried to tap into New Japan and I like I I just tapped back out. <laughs> Cause it, it's it's way too much, bro. Mm-hmm. It's way too much to learn and I'm I'm good, man. Y'all got it. An acquired taste. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I won in the words of offset. <laughs> <laughs> Offset and one, yeah, you gotta separate those two. I mean, he ain't winning nothing. <laughs> nigga Offset is a funny nigga, man. Real shit. Yeah. Shouts out to um him and Quavo though <laughs> on our non wrestling podcast time of things right now. That's nah, wrestling related. <laughs> they, they showed up at Raw one time. Yeah, and at day one. Yeah, I was just about to uh, bring that up. They did. Uh, they reunite. It was good to see them back together performing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the for the greater good, for takeoff, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Um, one more thing I just want to mention, bring up, it was a clip. I think it was on Rampage. Um, when one of the guys from the acclaim, um, Anthony Bowens, um, and Shorty, I think Harley Cameron is her name. She was she had the mic, she was saying how we could be a hot couple, we could be all of this, and man, he took the mic and said he was gay. And it got a huge pop from the crowd and everything, like. You know what I'm saying? He actually came out years ago and it was just like dope as hell to see like in professional wrestling a dude can like take the mic and say he's gay and the crowd just pop for it. So I wanted to make mention of that. That was dope to see. So shouts out to wrestling fans. Did you just say that you think I'm into you? Duh. (laughs) Very, very serious question. Did you get kicked too many times in the head by a kangaroo when you were a kid? Because I don't know if you can see my gear here, lady. I'm gay. <laughs> and he's taken. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. All right, man, that's all I got for this week. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm gonna keep it straight like that, to be honest. Bet. Well, we <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Yo, you a fool, man. Yo. <laughs> I caught that. I caught that. But yeah, money in the bank. All right. Let me gather did, myself. <laughs> did we get the rights to the, the money in the bank song? <laughs> Who, who did the Money in the Bank song? What was that rapper? Lil Scrappy. Swiss Beats. Nah. <laughs> Two of them. Oh, was it Lil Scrappy? Mm. It was Lil Scrappy, yeah. All right. I'm going to segue us into it with this. Mikey boy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you're you're a wild dude. You're, you're, you you crazy for that one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get into it. Yo, it's your time. She ain't got no money in the bank. Oh shit! We actually had a, a thing for that. Yeah, was, I'm shocked. That was actually. <laughs> I hope we don't get the copyright for this. Nah, we'll be all right. We good, man. We good, yeah. man. It's going down. Money in the Bank premium live event. It goes down, man. Our predictions, man. This is where we come through. We're going to name every match. We're going to give a predictions. And by the end of the show, we might have a brand new predictions champion. If not, Eve will retain his predictions championship, by the way, as you see right there on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, man. You see, you see the hard way right here. That shit fake. Ball don't lie. Well, me and Cody tied it the last time. Hey, man. We should have rock, paper, scissors for the fucking winner. <laughs> you should have never changed your pick. <laughs> That's what you should have. I would have been champ right now. <laughs> it's all good, though, because we here now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get this thing going. Let's start it off, man. We here. What we got? We have... Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler taking on Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez slash Gonzalez for the 
Uh, is this for the titles? They just unified them. I'm, well, I'm guessing. Yes, the uh, WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. So I guess I, I'll I'll go first. Let me go first. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pick. I'm going with Ronda and Shayna. You know what I'm saying? I didn't expect Liv to come back that quick from injury. So shouts out to Liv. Obviously, it wasn't as serious as some might have. Uh, thought but um i'm going ronda and shana on this one i'm gonna do the same i too am doing ronda and shana baszler really yes no it's further lit. comments it's, uh, it's <laughs> next up gunther will take on matt riddle for the intercontinental championship if is on you hmm Gunther or Brat Riddle. <laughs> oh, I I'm not I can't bet against it's the UK too, London. Come on, bro. I, I gotta rock with the IC champion. And they I just seen them beat the shit out of uh Matt Riddle's legs on Monday, so <laughs> I'm I'm rocking <laughs> with my son Gunther. I I too am rocking with Gunther. <laughs> He will be bat middle. Well, he's on me. Of course, man. I got Gunther, man. Yeah, I don't even got to say much. Shouts out to Gunther right there. Next match on the card, Cody Rhodes versus Dominic Mysterio. Manny? Big shocker on this one. I will be picking the white man and his dog, Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Uh, this, yeah, Cody, Cody's gonna win this match, bro. I got Dominic. Oh, also, I, I want I just want to shout out Dominic also on Monday night after Cody won that match. The nigga Dominic came up behind him and like knocked him upside his head. <laughs> on, on some, like, <laughs> on some super, yeah. like super coward shit, and then he <laughs> went out the ring. It was mad, yo. That was the funniest thing I seen that night, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that was hilarious. So shout out to Dom for that, man. Shouts out to Dom, but I got I got Dom, man. I got I got Dom. Um, uh, I got Brock Lesnar, costing Cody the match, and then we continue. We get part three of their feud at SummerSlam. Um, so go Dom, <laughs> go Dom. Uh, next up, man, we have the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Oh, uh, man, and here we go, man. Hopefully we get some some different picks in here, man. We got Selena Vega, Becky Lynch, Zoe Stark, Bailey, EO Sky, and Trish Stratus. Hello. And this is on me. Um, Let's see. I'm going EO. I'm going EO on this one. I really think... It's EO's time. Um, it's obvious she's been getting more momentum behind her. And it's looking like now it's time to reach for the brass ring, get that money in the bank contract, and give her time. As I look at this, I think EO has the best chances of winning. Either her, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say e, I gotta go with EO, man. And I think she would benefit the most from having it. So I'm, I'm gonna go with EO. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Zelina on this one. The oh, the the Puerto Rican princess. Yeah, I'm a just to you know. Ride for my Puerto Ricans one time. Right. Not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Next up, man, we're gonna talk about the men's money in the bank ladder match. Oh, we got a stack one. This is gonna be a good one too, man. We got Ricochet, Shinsuke Nakamura, LA Knight, Santos Escobar, Butch, Damian Priest, and Logan Paul. Hmm.
I'm I'm just I'm looking up the past like money in the bank winners. Otis. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Oh boy. I know who has no shot of winning. I can tell you that. All right. Do you I think the winner is gonna be on the top row on the top row or the bottom row? Hold on. I don't know, but I, I know who got no shot of winning, and he's on the bottom row. Is it Ricochet? Yes, sir. You have won <laughs> a prize, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ricochet, but nah, Chief. It's not going to be a night. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> no, sorry, Chief. <laughs> this is actually pretty tough. Yo, I'll be tight if Ricochet win now just because I put Bro, that. I, I was literally about to just pick Ricochet because he said that. <laughs> But it's like, I don't see Ricochet fighting for a fucking world title right now. Yeah. All right. So I got the the last five uh, Money in the Bank winners. Uh, last year we had Theory. The year before that, Big E. The year before that, it was Otis, and then the Miz won it from him. Uh, the year before that was Brock Lesnar, and before that was Braun Strowman. So, mm. and to Manny's point, they they could cash in on any title now, as we mm-hmm. seen with Theory last year, mm-hmm. well, earlier this year, which was fucking stupid. No does sense. the does the briefcase even mean anything anymore? Apparently not. Um, let's ask Austin Theory about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's the most recent winner. We've seen how that's. Turning out for him right now, because it's it's been like I, to me, I feel it's been hit or miss. Like Theory got it, and that's a miss. Phil Cash in, boom. Biggie had it, it was cool. Uh, Otis had it, failed. Brock had it. Why? I don't know. <laughs> the, the nigga turned the shit into a boom box. Yep. <laughs> he Wait, so that he was, is your pick? You you picking first? Am I picking? Ah, uh, who? Damn. Can you pull up that? It is, but um, Eve, to your point, to your point, like you just feel like a briefcase. We used to the briefcase making a superstar and mm-hmm. yeah. putting him into a higher position on the card and stuff like that, and it it just hasn't. Exactly, and that's that's why it's it's hard for me to pick because I'm looking at it because to me, like you said, the briefcase is to enhance somebody and lift them up, right? And it's like, all right, well, I could see the briefcase being good on. Santos, Butch, on literally all of these guys, right? Mm-hmm. But it doesn't, you know, it don't do that no more. So it just makes it harder to pick. But if I had to pick a winner, all right, I'm, I'm a good process of elimination. <laughs> definitely not Ricochet. Definitely not Santos. Definitely not Butch. Damn. I feel like L.A. Knight, a lot of people is rooting for L.A. Knight to win this. And for that alone, they will not give it to him. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. (laughs) That leaves us with three. Vince Damian Priest, and Logan Paul. I really, I want Damian Priest to win this shit because I think it would make sense. Shinsuke, I don't think Shinsuke enhances anything, honestly. And I don't think he should hold the money in the bank briefcase because I, I can't even picture him cashing in on somebody. I'm surprised he made it that far on your list. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to go with Logan Paul, man. Oh, God. I'm, I'm going to go with Logan Paul because I don't see him winning any championship in the WWE. I think this is the closest thing to a championship he'll win. And that's why I'm picking Logan Paul. Because he also has beef with Roman and Seth. So it just makes the most sense out of everybody here. Like, I feel like anybody here could... Well, three of these people cannot have a match with Seth whenever they want. But, you know... 
Yeah, I'm just picking Logan Paul. Yeah. It just makes the most sense for me. I feel you. I'm going LA night, man. Yeah. I'm I'm a I'm a I want him to win. I want LA Knight to win, really. But same, same. Yeah, I just think the way he's been booked, it gotta, it gotta, it gotta pay off, man. It gotta, they gotta throw him something. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully they do because I'm, I'm with y'all. I hope he does pick up this win, and we can see where he goes from there. So I'm picking LA Knight. And you know what? I'm changing my pick to Damian Priest. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just YOLO it. Split decision. I like this. Yeah. yeah Let's boy. make it interesting. This nigga here, boy. <laughs> you and your late changes, man. I hope this one don't backfire on me. That's all. We're going to see. <laughs> Next up, man, we have Seth Rollins putting his World Heavyweight Championship on the line against Benjamin Balor. And Manny, I think it's on you. <sighs> Breathing hard, like, nah, you go. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead. Okay. Finn and this is why I want my Damian Priest prediction to to hit. Because. Mm. If Damian Priest walks away champion, that is the ideal situation that I'm looking for here. Mm. Because hey, now you're going to have some. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so, you know, I'm in my head, I'm trying to get a banger out of this, and that's how it happens. Make a stab, spin in the back to become. Damn, that's why. Yeah, I'm, yo, I'm changing my pick to uh, Damien. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. I ain't going to hold you, Manny. That's some heat right there. Listen, when when you put some rum in my cup, I make things happen. <laughs> or you black out. <laughs> <laughs> Either or. <laughs> it's still happening, though. So my my pick, if I could pick, is that neither of these guys win. It's Damian Priest that wins. Oh. But... Oh my God! I kind of want Finn to win if Damian Priest wins, because that's fire. F Seth, I give it a Seth. But you guys know what I really want to happen. But he, Seth wins. He threw that in the air just to end up picking Seth. Because, because my idea is too fire to work, so I know it. They're just gonna do Seth. He think he ill. <laughs> I know, I know, I am. Insert That's that clip of him uh, playing the DJ equipment. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Man, turn oh. it up. It's on me. All right, cool. Look, we ain't even got to think about it. Seth Rollins. Yeah, man. Seth. Yeah. Right. Good to go. Uh huh. Look, man. I know who that man he facing is. I know the real Finn Balor. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Um, this before we get to the uh final match, brought up something about do we get a cash in on this show? Man, I, hope I, so. I, I want I want one to happen. Like either or I'm thinking like I I actually prefer cash ins at I think they should change it to that. It's like, yo, if you win money in the bank, you got to cash this shit in tonight. You feel me? It just makes it better. Like, whether you win or you lose, it's like, yo, I got to, you got a certain time on this shit, man. Yeah. So you better pick your poison. I feel Instead you. Instead of a nigga holding it for uh, eight months, it's like, yeah. all right, bro, whatever. To fucking cash it in. A, what was it? A, a U.S. title? Word. Because after like three or four months, it's like, who cares? Like, niggas don't care about that repeat. Yeah. All right, man. Let's get to the last one. We have the Bloodline Civil War. Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa versus the Usos. It's on it's on me. I believe so. Oh man. Oh, got me up first. Tough one. Tough one. Tough one. Um, I'm going Roman. I'm going Roman and solo, man. I 
I'm going to go with the – I think Solo going to eat the pin, man. <laughs> I, th- I think Roman going to leave that boy out there on his own. You feel me? And his older brother's going to deal with him. Mm, so I like that. I got the Usos. I can see that. That's a good prediction, Eve. That's a really good prediction. Too bad it's not going to happen. Roman Reigns and Solo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. And um look, man, there you have it. Yeah. Um, look, man, listeners, y'all know where to find us, man. Right after the show goes off, we going live. You know what I mean? Black Announce Table YouTube is going down. Money in the bank, the live post show, breaking it down brick by brick, match by match. We all gonna be here. Y'all gotta tap in. Tap in, man. Holla, holla. Also, what time? What time is this pay per view, by the way? Three p.m. All right. So you know, I'll, it might be over at like six thirty. I'm guessing. If I have to assume. I'll get a nice plate of Chinese food. I'll be here. I'll be yeah. ready. Settling with some pork fried rice and chicken wings, man. You fucking know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real quick, KP, can you add the uh, the NBA draft music, please? Because Chris Ann sent her picks in. Here we go. Ooh. She said she's rolling with Seth Rollins. She's rolling with Roman Reigns and Solo. She's rolling with Bailey. She's rolling with Cody, Gunther, and LA Knight as a Money in the Bank uh, winner. So, what are we going to see, man? Maybe I can't we'll wait to win. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Listen, man. All. I don't. I don't have a title right now, but here's a Mark McGuire baseball card from 1999. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what we got, man? We got talk to me nice. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Somebody talk to me nice. Man, everything I do, I don't do. I do the other thing. Everything I go across the street that way, I'm going up. TTMN. Yeah. Holla, holla. Nah. All right, man. Talk to me nice. It's time. See what the people saying. See what the people talking about. This one is good. It's nice and concise. Are we over two hours yet? We nah, about to not be? yet. All right, so we're going to keep it brief. You feel me? So shout out to everybody that sent them in. Let's get to it. Shout out to Cuzzo. He said, does Drew McIntyre come back on Saturday? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. I, did, I was not thinking about it, but now that you mention it, I like the thought. I don't I don't know if they patched everything up with Drew, but I'd I'd love to see him back. We'll, we'll see y'all. I think it's a 80% chance we see Drew. 80%. That's a lot. Yeah. I I'm really high on like after the Seth Finn match. Drew pop up. Yeah, Claymore nigga or something. Mm. And then we see the direction for Seth versus Drew. That SummerSlam? Listen, he, he stay with a cold, so we got to hope that he drinks NyQuil and fucking some orange juice. Word, yo, Drew, eat an orange, my nigga. Get your vitamin <laughs> C up, bro. Yeah, so, you know, what's that? Uh, Fuck. Oh, my God. God damn it. <laughs> 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 bro, that gets me every time. Bro, what's that shit that Doctor Sevy be saying to eat? It Bean? looks like fucking gel. Sea moss. Sea moss. Yeah, we need we need to get Drew some fucking sea moss. I, yeah. I bet the boogeyman knows how to make sea moss. Yeah, because the boogeyman was Haitian. Shouts to the boogeyman, man. You feel me? Sea was he really Haitian? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, shout out to the boogie man for real. We're in a salute. Um, but yeah, nah, Drew, I, I hope to see him, man. This he's been going for a little minute. Mm-hmm. So I, I really would like to see him back. Banks, I hope this isn't outrageous. Let's see. He said, Manny, name your top five Al Green songs. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Let me get the fucking Al Green sticker out. 
All right. I'm a fan. Oh, look, it says love and happiness in the back. That's one of them for sure. Mm. <laughs> um, let's stay together. Fucking classic. Mm-hmm. Like probably one of like top 15 love songs ever made. Um, take me to the river. This nigga reading off the back of that shit, man. Bro, look, I don't got nothing in my hands. <laughs> I'm look, look, bro, look. It don't mean you can't look down. And- <laughs> uh, yo, bro, it doesn't. It just has like his autograph in the back. When did, all right, man. Um, I'm like, when did you get the? You want you got the shit as a, a yard sale or some shit? No, it was like a Supreme sticker. Oh. Um, I'm still in love with you. Did I say that already? That's like four. Yeah, and I was about to say, you didn't say that. Take me to the river. Come on, Al Green, the Reverend. Come on, man. That's not the Manny. <laughs> round, round of applause for you naming five Al Green tracks. Thank you, thank you. It's our two times. Let's jump over to Twitter. We got one from shots to the homie DMV fan. He said, "Who should be the next main roster act to go to NXT?" Mm. Oh fuck! <laughs> There's a lot of rum at the bottom of that cup. <laughs> next main roster act to go to NXT. Where's Elias? Yo, when are they gonna do these releases? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the real question. That's a crazy question. Niggas gotta lose their jobs. <laughs> um, who would be good to send down to NXT? Dominic Mysterio is gonna have a match in NXT within this month. Hmm. That, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but he's probably gonna face Carmelo Hayes. What's the odds on that looking like? 350 plus 350. Okay. That's a good question. Um, I'm really trying to think like who should go to NXT. I think Austin Theory should go to NXT. Has he faced? I don't know what the fuck just happened. <laughs> I thought it was a drop, and then I was like, Word. I don't even know. I felt like designer. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> you said, did he do what? Did he face somebody? Carmelo Hayes? Who? Uh, Austin, Austin Theory? I don't believe so. Give us a fucking banger. That's what I want to see. That's the match. I think Austin Theory should go down to NXT. And, and heat up, bro. Austin Theory, you go down. Braun Breaker, you come up, man. Mm-hmm. That's how it should be. And also, every once in a while, I think they should send some big names down there just to have a little one-off, like the, the way they did with uh, Seth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Dolph and Nick, Roman down there. Nigga, Roman would come down there and shit on that whole piece. <laughs> but they, I, th- I do think they should do that every now and again, like once every like three or four months. You feel me? But yeah, man, that was TTMN. Nice and sweet to the point. Nice. I love it, man. Let's go, Manny. Um, oh wait, is this the exit? This is the exit, man. All right. So I think that we should kill some time for a little bit because the Yankees are one out away from a perfect game, and it's currently happening right now, and that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Why are you talking like you a robot? <laughs> I have no idea. I once I once again, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of rum in the bottom of this cup. The liquor got this nigga tweaking, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, you know, I don't got nothing to plug. We here, listen to the show or something. And Yankees got a perfect game. <laughs> Right on cue, man. Let's go. Holla, holla. Know what I mean? And with that being said, it's only right. Got to take us out on a perfect game. Come on, man. I give, I give my all. I give my all. 
Listen here, man. It's your boy Cody Dre. You know what I'm saying? You can follow me on all social media platforms at Cody Dre. C O D I E D R E. We here, man. You made it to another one. Y'all know, man. Make sure y'all tap in with us if you're listening on Friday. Tap in with us tomorrow after Money in the Bank. Y'all know how we get down. Y'all know how we rocking. Breaking it down brick by brick, match by match, per usual. Um, listeners, appreciate it. Love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, everybody, if y'all rocking with us, and y- even if y'all y'all not rocking with us, suck my fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out, man. I'm out straight like that. Cody Dre. Man, what a way to exit. <laughs> hey, y'all know the deal. Y'all know who I am, man. Make sure y'all tap in youtube.com slash black announce table. Like my boy said, we are going live tomorrow immediately after money in the bank for that post show. So go subscribe, turn the notifications on. And while y'all are in there, don't forget to thumbs up that damn live show to patreon.com slash black announce table. Go run it up, spend the five to 10 to 20, whatever you want. We got a new watch along up there. Money in the bank, 2020, the pandemic money in the bank that they did at Titan towers. We broke that down. Watch that. It was it was dope. Go tap in. You know what I'm saying? Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all of that at Black Announce Table. You know the deal. I'm Sky High Eve on Instagram and Twitter. It's your boy Verde Cafe, aka Zamarant, aka E from X. You feel me? I'm on my my militant shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'ma holler at y'all niggas tomorrow. I will still be champion. And the world would be perfect. You know what I'm saying? So.